Hello, my name is Thiago. I work at AlgaWorks and I am going to talk now with Chatai. Uh, I'm in Brazil, Chatai is in Turkey and I will ask Chatai to introduce himself. Hello Chatai, how are you? Hello, uh, good and you? I'm very good, thank you. Could you introduce yourself? Uh, sure, I, my name is Chatai Chiviji. I'm the uh, founder of PrimeTech. PrimeTech is a company who creates open source UI component suites. Our uh, most well-known project is Prime Faces. We also have Prime, Prime Faces for Java surfaces. We have done Prime UI for jQuery, uh, general usage. And now we are working on Prime NG, which is for Angular 2. And we also have plans for Prime React in the future. So uh, it's, we mostly work, with, that's the only thing we do. We create open source UI components. Nice, and Prime Face is uh, the most popular component library for in the Java yeah. world and now you are you are working on Prime NG. I, I saw on Twitter that there are some users that already have projects in production. So uh, let's say yeah. let's talk yeah, let's talk about Prime NG today. What's what is yeah. what is Prime NG? Uh, Pri I mean Prime Angular is the you know is the uh, Angular 2 is the has been rewritten from scratch. It's very different than Angular 1. And uh, in any framework, any library, you need a data table, right, to display data. You need charts and things like that. PrimeNG provides that. It has over 70 components right now, all open source, charts, tables, accordion panels, tabs, input fields, um, file upload component, data table, data lists, scrollers, and things like that. It's fully open source under MIT license. Um, uh, it has, I think it's one of the most popular libraries for Angular 2 right now. For most of the people, they, let the, they told us that it's the most complete one. When we check out the competition, it seems so. It's the most complete one. And we will improve it uh, in 2017 as well to be the best uh, UI library for Angular 2 like Prime Faces is for JSF. Oh, nice. <laughs> and uh, what do you think about Angular 2? Yeah, um, we really liked it. Uh, we, um, I never used Angular 1. Uh, we checked it to see if we can do something for it with the UI library, but uh, the, uh, the core was uh, a bit, um, let's say, complicated for us to create UI libraries, although it's a nice framework. Um, so all the scoping, uh, transclusion, things like that, compile and linking processes, it became, um, it looked a bit complex for us to come up with a UI library for it. But then Google has decided that Angular 2 will be rewritten from scratch, it will be a whole lot different. And then we just uh, looked at it uh, in Janu on January, yes, uh, when it was in alpha stage. Uh, we really liked it because it was very similar to JSF. Uh, the, I, the separation of model and view. And it was written in TypeScript. We are actually Java developers. So we really like Java TypeScript. And then we decided to create a couple of components for it and we really liked it. And now we are, I, I personally, I have like 12 months of Angular 2 experience since January, uh, since the alphas. Uh, it has changed a lot. Even the RCs had bre breaking changes, which weren't really appreciated well uh, by the community. But right now, it, it, it seems like it's production ready. It's quite fast. It's faster than Angular 1. Uh, it's simpler. There's no scope or linking component process like the Angular 1. It, it, it still has uh, similar processes, but they're much simpler. Um, it has, uh, it's a whole framework. I mean, you have validation, model binding, routing. Um, forms, a lot of things. Plus, you have the component libraries like Prime Engine. So, I mean, some, it, it can run offline. You, with Electron, you can create a desktop application. With uh, PhoneGap or uh, other libraries, you can create mobile applications. You can have server-side rendering. You can easily start, it, start using it with CLI. Uh, it, there's a nice community. There are the conferences for it. Uh, one we will sponsor in April in GConf. We're also sponsoring Angular Beers in Barcelona. Um, so and we are excited for it. And 
Uh, a library without a community is nothing, even if it's perfect. So Angular 2 is a nice community and we are providing, we, we are glad to be a, be a part of the community. And uh, creating li UI libraries for it is fun and easy. So we really liked it. Mm. Yeah, very nice. I'm studying Angular 2 and I, I'm really liking it. It, as you said, it's very similar to JSF, but yeah. on client side, yeah. And, no, yeah. and how long do you think uh, to have all the components of Prime Face uh, in Prime NG? Uh, probably uh, right now we have 70 components. Uh, probably it will take like six months more to come up with uh, new features. We will have new components like spreadsheets, chips, um, capture component. Then we will have new features like row grouping. Uh, customizable filters, customizable selectors. Uh, it's interesting because the Prime NG Angular 2 community wants some feature and they just describe it like as in Prime Faces. So they just look at the Prime Face version, oh, this is a very nice feature, we just want it in Prime NG. So here we have the specification and we have the same request. So we have, uh, we know that what the uh, users need to create UIs, right? And we use that experience from Prime Faces and do the same with Prime Engine. So most of the time, what people want from Prime Engine already right now exists in Prime Faces. So we will just port these features and probably in six months time until NGConf in April, we will have a, a bigger feature set. And what are, what are your expectations about Prime Engine for the next year? Right now, uh, it is one of the most popular libraries, but we want to be, we want Prime NG to be the best, the most popular one. Uh, it's open source, so it's an asset advantage over competition because there are, I guess, commercial libraries as well. Uh, but right now, uh, our expectation, um, right now it has met expectations, maybe even more. Uh, the download numbers is around 40, 40, 40 I, um, I guess 40,000, yeah, for around 40,000 monthly. Uh, we just hope that it will be even more, more people will start using it. And in 2007, we will just keep improving it and to make sure it becomes the most complete and the best uh, library and we will provide themes and templates for it as well. Okay, so just to be clear, we are recording this interview in the end of 2016 and this yeah. plans for 2016. 17. Okay. Uh, I don't know when you are watching this video on YouTube or Facebook. So hello, hello to future. Yeah. Hello future. <laughs> uh, so uh, do you have any final word you would like to say about Prime NG or anything else? I mean, just uh, if you're interested in uh, Angular or a similar client library, just uh, you may just check out Prime NG because uh, it probably provides almost everything, more than 90% of what you need to create a library like data tables, pagination sorting. Um, so it, it's worth checking out Prime NG and hopefully in, in case you are watching this video in the future, by the time we will have uh, more features and, and more community and more uh, users as well. So just check out Prime NG. Okay, so thank you very much for your time, Chatai. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel if you are on YouTube or like our page on Facebook. Uh, leave a comment below telling what you like this video, uh, if you have any question, and share with your friends because uh, if you have friends that, that are programmers, share this with your friends. I think it's very important that everybody knows about this great technology, this great component library for Angular 2. And now, at the end of 2016, AlgaWorks doesn't have any Angular 2 online courses, but we hope to have it in 2017. We are working hard for that. Of course, we will teach as well Prime NG in our course because we are a partner of Prime Tech, right? So we don't have any book about that yet, but I will leave a link so you can subscribe to our email list and as soon as we have uh, new videos like that, 
classes, online classes or course, you can receive it in your inbox. So if you'd like to get updated about this technology, uh, just find the link below or in the video uh, about this email list, okay? Uh, so thank you very much again, Chatai. Uh, thank you for bye having bye. me. <laughs> bye, bye bye. Thank you. Bye everyone.